Oh wow. Ah, uh, I guess they've succeeded with population control. As you know, AIDS was pretty much created for population control. And um, from what I'm seeing, it's getting crazy in Jamaica because there's a lot of prostitution that's going on there. And uh, basically sex is being thrown in front of our youth uh, face. Back back when I was growing up, sex used to be like a taboo. You know what I'm saying? It's not something like that was out there. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like everybody doing it. Like young kids, everybody's doing it. And prostitution is very heavy when it comes towards being in, in Jamaica. Even Thailand too. As a matter of fact, the whole Caribbean. AIDS is like crazy. So it's become an issue in Jamaica in 1982 this actually gave the breakdown of when it first like started showing its head when its first case was reported currently approximately 1.7 of jamaica adult population live with aids or slash hiv this represents about 27,000 people the numbers continue to increase in the island wide with the parish of st james kingston st andrew being the most seriously affected now, as you know, those if it's those areas affected, those people are going to travel to other parishes to give other people. Because if other people have sex in those people with those people, that thing is going to be moving around. The number continued to increase in the island with the parish of St. James and Kingston, St. Andrew being the most seriously affected. So Jamaica is not only being affected with crime, it's affecting with AIDS because mostly young people are doing it and then you got the people and that's gay that's jumping from man to woman actually my wife brought up something this morning she said i said the gay people them is spreading it the most she said that's incorrect that's the um that's the the other way of looking at it but if you actually look at it people that straight is actually spreading it just as much as them but i never actually looked at it that way because i'm like most because you got guys that's going woman woman going with guys shit like that and people are not wrapping it up no more everybody want to go commando so she was right because if the woman is straight she's spreading it too because i've had instances here where i hear people in here in america and they caught it and they say they're about to go to jamaica they're about to give everybody that shit and I'm like, that's pretty much murder. Anyway, providing access to prevention, education, care, treatment, and support for a person infected with or infected or affected by HIV AIDS policy, uh, advocacy, legal human rights for a person living with HIV slash AIDS, monitoring, surveillance, and educate evaluation to track the success of our efforts to control the epidemic advocating for strong multi-sectional response to the epidemic i wonder what the government is even doing in regards to this and this is why i always say before you get involved with people you should always do blood work can't miss with blood work yeah you could take a hiv test that might be missed but when you get a blood work you get everything the program Approach and emphasize the community intervention and face-to-face -face communication, increasing awareness and reduce the individual risk of HIV infection and reduce stigma of a person living with AIDS slash HIV and promote the safer sex practices throughout the approach of national program has achieved a significant degree of success, particularly in a high level awareness of the decline rates of syphilis and other STI increased condom availability and the use of confirmation impact of the program one of its greatest challenges however it's it is however is to have the population to translate their awareness of safer sex in sustained behavior change now they should have more programs like this and they should also educate the younger youth them that's in school because we're the first thing to teach state people things in school that's a start. Anyway, this where he started showing this is a STD control program began in 1930. Uh, AC Astrid established 1970. First eight case reported in 1982. I was two then. AIDS became notified in 1985. NA 
C established 1988 National KABP survey conducted 1988, 89, 94, 96. That's when I came to America. Uh, medium trim plan formulated. First medium trim plan, 1989. Uh, second medium term plan, 1993. Third medium term plan, 1997. STD centuries, uh, centuries, uh, what's that? Strengthen cases, manual development, 1993. On AIDS established 1995. What's that? Decentralization HIV program 1995. Strategic plan table in Parliament 1999. Wow. Knowledge added to behavioral practice 2002 survey. Uh, knowledge added to behavioral practices 2004. Knowledge added to behavioral practice 2008 survey. Nas National Strategic Plan 2008 finalized in 2012 two, and um, that shit was going on in, in 2009. So as the year goes by, this thing keeps on getting bigger and bigger and it's become a widespread and low-key, they have a cure for it, but they have um, they have um, pills that you could take and the one they were promoting mostly was Big Tarvey and they have pills that you could take that would actually make it um, not show up in your system. So yeah. So on age report that there's thir uh, what's that? 30,000 HIV positive people in Jamaica. Approximately 30,000 yes 30,000 right? It's 30 yeah 30,000 people are living with the human What's that? Immune deficiency virus. And I covered this before. Where I think... Um, I think it's um, New York. Florida. California. Texas. And another place I don't remember. But people don't share this stuff. You know what people share? Gossip. But I'm still going to cover it. That's according to the la latest report from the joint... United Nation program on HIV on AIDS. Now, on AIDS says Jamaica is home to 9% of the total number of HIV positive persons living in the Caribbean. The report says 91% of Jamaica living with HIV aware of their status, but only 49% of those are antiviral treatment. It says more females are accessing treatment for the virus than males. Because you know, men, we always say it will go away. It will go away. On AIDS cites uh, perceived stigma and discrimination of major barrier of accessing HIV-related services in the country. This says contributes that at least 53% of people living with the virus Denying their status and shying away from treatment. Now, you know, back in the days, man used to have two, three, four girl, a man, a girl, is somewhere, one over there, one over there, one up there, one down there. And everybody does a catch it. Well, ladies, I say, condom will save your life. Yes, use it without your wife. Yes, how will she off and puff tell her without the condom? Me now do no book. Now, I'm telling you, ninjas in Jamaica, that even if you're married or not married, these people most of the time they're not loyal and they could have them put that in a church go get checked out because me not just nobody nobody and any pussy way too easy to get me not just see no against the background of the social government and political social contract in the public private initiative to deliver high quality hiv related service are affected in jamaica well, the government, as always, don't care about the people. It doesn't matter who you vote for, JLP or PMP. The government just knows they get in numbers and do what they're supposed to do. Go home to the family and then good. Collaboration also ongoing with other key shareholders to identify and address the iniquity barriers to fight against the stigma and discrimination and to eliminate mother-child mother transmission. On AIDS says... While it congratulate the government for its continuous effort to essential turbocharge their pace in addressing these challenges 
and that's it. But me personally, I don't see no government to do anything about this because we don't have testimony and we don't have no testimony. So, um, people, I would recommend you people get checked out every three months, every six months, and just don't trust nobody and put the condom on. And if you're trying to get serious with a person or you just start dating or something like that, ask for blood work. Blood work is where they do an in-depth of if the person have any STD or their medical history. So if them have chlamydia, or if them have gonorrhea, even if them have herpes, as you know, everybody have herpes, it's work on their lips. So yeah, get that checked out before you guys start getting kind of intercourse. And like I said, always do your follow-up with your doctor. Trust no man. Like, share, and subscribe.